Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you how to make a lemon chicken stew. And this is a comforting dish that's both healthy and hearty. And it has tender pieces of chicken thighs, white beans, potatoes, veggies, all cooked in a lemony broth and it's so satisfying. So let's get started. Um, to begin, I have two pounds of chicken thighs that I have trimmed and I sliced in half. It's just a preference. Um, I prefer smaller slices of chicken in this chicken stew. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it with salt and pepper. And this is a great dish to make for this fall. It does have some lemon in it, which gives it a bright, zesty flavor. Um, when I first tested this recipe, I tested it without the lemon and it tasted great, but I just felt like it needed something to just bring out another depth of flavor. So I did add the lemon to it and we just loved it. My family and I do love lemon, so I am carrying out those lemon summery flavors into the fall. And I'm just gonna go ahead and season the other side and then we'll get working on our veggies. For our veggies, I have three carrots here that I've already peeled and I'm gonna slice them on a diagonal about, I wanna say, half inch thick. And I just like to slice it in a diagonal just for aesthetics. It looks prettier that way. And what I do love about this dish is that it is full of veggies and my older son will eat it. And that always makes me happy when he eats his veggies. The younger one, um, that's another story we're working on that. He's pretty picky when it comes to veggies. So now that we have our carrots all peeled and sliced up, I'm gonna get going on our potatoes. So here I have two potatoes that I've already peeled and I've soaked them in water. Um, it depends on the size of potato. If it's a large potato, sometimes I'll use one large potato. These are a little bit smaller in size, so today I'm using two. And I'm just gonna cut them into small chunks. And the reason why I soak them in water is because I prepare the potatoes beforehand, and if we let it sit, the air will get to it and it'll oxidize and turn brown. So if you are preparing your potatoes beforehand, you wanna make sure to soak them in water. So I have a friend that likes to meal prep before she goes to work and she tells me that she doesn't do the potatoes because she doesn't want them to turn brown. So I told her just to like go ahead and slice the potatoes up in the morning. I feel better now. You feel better now? He had a tummy ache last night and we had a rough night. We were up in the middle of the night, so he slept in and he's not supposed to go to school today, but he says he feels better. We'll see how you feel, okay, after a little bit of breakfast. Anyway, so I was telling my friend um, to go ahead and chop up her veggies in the morning and then go ahead and soak them in water so by the time she gets home from work, she can just go ahead and cook and not have to prep her potatoes. So, little tip today. Okay, so now that we have our meats and our veggies all nice and prepped, I'm gonna go over some other ingredients that we're gonna be needing before we head over to the stove. We have some minced garlic, we have a diced onion, we have some white beans. It adds another source of protein, some fiber, great texture to our soup. It's going to be cooked in some chicken broth. I do have some chopped kale that I removed the stems and I chopped up. Um, if you don't like kale, you could sub for baby spinach and I have a lemon, and I do have some cooked rice. I like to add a scoop of cooked rice when I serve the soup. Um, I grew up with a lot of Filipino soups and stews, and my parents would always serve rice when we have it, so it's just one of those things that I grew up on, and we love rice with our soups, so I'm gonna add that in, but it's totally optional. You can leave it out if you want, but it is really good with it. Okay, so we are ready to get cooking. Meet me over at the stove. Okay, so I have my pot heated here over medium-high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil, and I'm gonna sear the chicken. I'm not looking to cook the chicken all the way through at this point. I just wanna get a nice sear on each side. Okay, so now that they're all in there, I'm gonna let it cook for about three to four minutes. Okay, so our chicken pieces have been cooking for about four minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. So we're looking for that nice, round crust. 
Okay, so now that I have them all flipped over, I'm gonna go ahead and cook them for about another three to four more minutes. Okay, so our chicken pieces are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove and set them aside. Okay, so now that I've removed the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our onions and garlic. I'm also going to add in some salt. We're gonna season along the way as always. And I'm just gonna cook it until they're slightly softened. This will take about two to three minutes over medium heat. There's some brown bits on the bottom of the pan, so I'm just gonna deglaze it a little bit with a little bit of chicken broth and scrape them off. Like I mentioned in my other videos, if it's black and burnt, you don't want that, but since this is nice and browned, we're keeping this because it'll add flavor to our stew. But like I said, if it's black and burnt, you don't want to keep it because it'll make the stew bitter. Okay, our onions are looking good. And now I'm actually gonna add some dried oregano. Yes, I tend to prefer oregano out of all the other herbs and spices. But like I said, you can, you can add whatever you like. I'm just gonna stir it in. Or you could even leave it out if you don't like oregano. Okay. So now I'm gonna add in the chicken broth. So we're gonna need three cups of chicken broth. I'm also going to season it with some salt. And of course, a little pepper. And once everything comes to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and then reduce the heat all the way down to medium low and let it simmer for about five minutes before we add in our beans and potatoes and carrots. Okay, so it's been simmering for about five minutes and now it's time to add in our carrots, potatoes, and beans. And once you get all the prep work done with this um, recipe, it really is easy to make because it's all about just adding all the ingredients gradually into the pot. Add a tad bit more salt. And yes, this is a great one pot meal. That includes about everything. You've got your chicken, your potatoes, you've got some beans, your veggies, really easy. Okay, so once it comes back to a boil, I'm gonna cover, turn the heat back down to medium low again, and then let it cook for another 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes has passed. It is already looking so amazing. And now it's time to add in our kale. And like I mentioned earlier, if you don't like kale, you could sub for a baby spinach. My husband loves kale, so we actually requested kale for this recipe. So we are using kale today. So this is more of a stew, but if you wanted it to be more of a soup, you can go ahead and add in more broth if you prefer. I'm gonna let this cook down for about five minutes. All right, you guys, last but not least, we are going to add in our lemon juice. So we're gonna need about three tablespoons of lemon juice and one medium-sized lemon yields exactly that. And like I mentioned, the lemon is going to give it some nice, bright and zesty flavor and it really is just gonna kick up our soup another notch. All right, give it a final stir. And I'm gonna remove it from the heat and we are ready to serve this up. I went ahead and put some into a bowl and scooped some rice on top of it. Like I mentioned earlier, the rice is optional, but I do recommend it. It's so delicious, my kids love it with rice. And we are ready for the taste test. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just falling apart. I just have to show you. Okay, I have some chicken, a little bit of kale, a little bit of rice. Cheers, you guys. The chicken is nice and tender. The veggies are perfectly cooked. The lemon adds that bit of bright flavor. It's so delicious. It's so great, you guys. It's healthy, it's hearty. My family loves it. It's a win-win situation here at the Pimentel household today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.